Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. Today, one of the most famous switches from Ubiquiti. The Unify Switch 8, 60 w an 8-port managed gigabit switch. So, stay tuned. Today, we will check one switch from the Unify series. The Unify 8 port 60W Gigabit Managed Switch with 802.3 AF PoE that comes on this white box as most of the Unify products. So let's see what's in the box. The quick starter guide The switch That comes on this small metallic case with wall mounts and some holes around the case for better cooling. It has four ports that can provide PoE and four ports without PoE support. Also in the box, the power brick is included. which can deliver 48 volt output. As well as the power cable. So, let's connect our 8 port switch to our 24 port Unify switch and also connect a Unify access point to one of the PoE ports of the 8 port switch. This access point is an older model and requires 24 volt pass through in order to work. As you can see, the access point is not booting up and this is normal. We will explain in a while why this is happening. So, let's connect to the controller of this side and navigate to devices. And more specific to the wired. As you can see, the device is appearing here, it is ready for adoption. We just need to press the adopt button. We can skip this step for now, since this switch is connected only temporarily. We can use one already adopted 8-port switch in order to explain why the Unify access point is not working. We need to select an 8-port and a 24-port switch in order to compare. As you can see, in the latest Unify controller, in case multiple devices are selected, their properties appear on tabs. So, if we select both switches and navigate to ports, then select the POE port and press edit, we can see the 8-port switch supports only PoE, instead of the bigger model where supports PoE Plus and 24V Passive. This is the reason the access point we connect aerial failed to boot up. Now, let's see a real case where an 8-port switch has been used. In this case, we use two PoE ports in order to connect two IP cameras and a regular port where using a PoE injector, a Unify switch flex is connected. Unify flex will be reviewed on next video. Selecting this switch, we can see all the options in the Unify controller. 
first on the overview tab we can see some general information like total power consumption, IP and uptime. With mouse over ports icon we can see information for each port. Additional information in the uplink and downlink sections. Nothing special on the Clients tab. Now on the Ports tab we can edit each port settings. First of all we can assign an alias to the port and select Profile. As well as setting to disable PoE in case we are editing one of the four PoE ports. On the Config tab we can edit some general settings as well as Service and Network. Also, the device management option is shown here. And finally, on the Tools tab, we can open a terminal to the device. Our thoughts on Unify 8 port suites? It's a very nice product from Ubiquiti that provides many options as most of the Unify series. It is a managed switch that can be easily configured via Unify controller. Don't forget that only the last 4 ports are PoE. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please press like and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video with more Unify.